Welcome to the human's race. We don't research shit. Hello, good morning. We are here again at the human's race podcast. <laughs> Thank you for that intro. <laughs> Very nice, because it was fast. Hey, everybody. <laughs> this is Harry Carey. Welcome to the Human's Race. Hey, we are Pre-drinks. Seventh inning stretch, pal. Dodgers! You the guys, Doyers. Hey, the Doyers, man. Boo. Welcome to the show. Doyers. Those Another Doyers. show. Are, are, are you a shitty Giants fan? Is that what no. it is? No. no. Oh, okay. no. I don't think you like baseball, do you? I do. Uh, I, I'm, an, I'm an Indians fan. <laughs> oh. Because of uh, Major League? Well, partly, yeah. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, it, partly. Because uh, you have no ties with Cleveland. No, I have zero ties. I have... It, I didn't. I hated the Angels and I hated the Dodgers. Even though I you from Anaheim up, area, I'm from the Anaheim area, <laughs> didn't like the Angels. Didn't like the Angels. Actually, I liked the Angels then, but then uh, my team was the Indians, and then that's when Major League came out, and I met Charlie in, Sheen oh. in fucking Dodger Stadium. Wow, thing! And I got his <laughs> fucking autograph on a fucking hat. And oh, he yeah. signed it, Wild Thing number 99, because I was wearing a fucking Indian's hat, dude. Oh, no shit. Yeah, you know, cool. some, so, sometimes it's only something well, like that, like, what it takes to be a fan if right. if you weren't raised with a team. Right, but also Clyde Wright, I took pitching lessons from, and his son was oh, Jared yeah. Wright, and he was playing for the Indians at that time. So, okay. I, I took pitching lessons off of, uh, it was called the the... the Shit, I can't remember the name of it, but it was taking pitching lessons from Clyde Wright in Anaheim off of Ball Road, and uh, yeah, that was uh, that was my in- introduction to being a savage fucking Cleveland. Fan. So you're an Indian fan? Good. Yeah, well, you a fan? Uh, not really. I mean, you you grew up being a Dodgers fan in L.A. and like it comes fucking out of everyone in L.A. Even you have to uh, Lakers in L.A. Like yeah. no matter what, you, you don't you get beat out, up. You come out of the womb and the doctors wrap you in a fucking yeah, yeah, Dodgers yeah, yeah, blanket. Like, <laughs> like, yeah. did, you, did, did you watch that documentary on fucking how they got Dodger Stadium? Oh, they had to kick out all the Hispanics. Yeah, from yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So yeah. they're like, why do Mexicans always like the Dodgers? Yeah, they, I love how they try to soften the blow. We're going to call it the Chavez Ravine. Yeah, Chavez Ravine. Yeah, 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 like, all right. Yeah, so you saw that, right? Oh, I watched it, too. That was good. That's was where they so kicked good. out Richie from La Bamba. <laughs> <laughs> not my Richie. <laughs> Why not you, Bob? Hey, nobody cared about Bob, though. That's the uh, that was so fucked up. Poor Bob. <laughs> Dude, my stepmom actually went to the school, went to school in San Fernando Valley. Okay. And I don't know the whole story. So, uh, <laughs> well, uh, that story pittered. That, that story crashed like Richie Balance's plane. Why don't we put that plane up? No, Why don't we put that plane up in the background here? <laughs> Actually, that's what it was. It was the plane crash because the, there was a plane no, crash in San. Fran- no, it wasn't. It wasn't Richie's plane. No, I it know. was. Yeah, but she was at school with the plane crash. Okay, that's what she told me. Okay, Lynn, that's what you told me. <laughs> if I'm wrong, uh, that's on you. That's no, on you. Boo. No, she's part of our. <laughs> dude, that's my stepmom, and she's part of. We have uh, LA 50 history. Four members in our. Oh, she's, oh, she's in the Facebook yeah, show? that's Lynn, who's always... Hey, hi, hi, Lynn. Lynn. Hi, Lynn. <laughs> but she told me... Hey, check we, out, we check watched out the this movie. Crash. We watched it. Yeah. Uh, Remember that? It's, it's coming from over here. Oh, is it? No, it's over it's there. there. It's Where is it? Somewhere. I hear it. It's somewhere. <laughs> yeah, it, we're trying out this green screen. Uh, I, no, it's not a green screen. We're I trying... Mean, we're, no, we're there. We're on location in San Fernando Valley. No, no, I was going to say Hawaii. Look at oh. the waterfall. Wow. <laughs> It's right there. No, no, it's, it's the Leaning Tower. Oh, oh, the pizza? Uh, uh, it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> we're at the Stonehenge. <laughs> Give me some head. Uh. But, hey. <laughs> but really, that's great. We were watching a movie, La Bama. Like, I was at school when that plane crashed, and then I was. That's why I fucked up. Oh, okay. No, it right. wasn't Richie in the plane. She, he was, she, she remembers when the, was they call it the 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 night or the day that the that the music, music died. died. Yeah. Well, that was no, that was 
when the big bop or Richie Buddy Valens, Holly and Buddy Richie Holly. Holly. Okay, so the, what the I'm fuck are we about talking the about? Plane crash at the beginning of the movie because Richie was a kid, remember? Oh, okay. At school, and he saw the plane crash. That's how the movie starts. So I think, it's I a was foreshadowing a... for him throughout the movie. At the end, he ends up ironically dying so, in a plane so, crash. So there was another plane crash. It was just a plane crashed in San Fernando Valley. Okay. And all the kids on the schoolyard I saw it. I didn't know this. Yeah. I thought, that, I, thought, I thought No, it's not. Yeah. I, I think they showed the plane that actually killed the people. No, at the beginning of the movie, they <laughs> showed... Pull it out. Plane <laughs> I, think, I, think, I think... You know what? I think you're wrong. No. I think I think she remembers a plane crash, and I think you're thinking that... She I think she remembers 9-11 and... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, <laughs> it's not coming up to her. The beginning of the movie starts with a plane I, crash. I remember on a the movie. And there was black and white. It was the okay. old black and The old black so and white. So that is just a foreshadowing just of. Gonna, you know what? He watched that plane crash, so he was always scared of flying. That's right. why he never flew. Uh, and he fucking took the bus all the time, but he had a cold, and they're like, oh, come on, Rich, we need to get you over. And he ended up winning the coin flip. To get on that plane, which he shouldn't have even been on the plane. <laughs> True no, story. I, true I, story. I, 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 I'm not, not even true story. <laughs> true story. True story. True, true, true story from somebody else that heard it from somebody else. Hey. <laughs> Dude, that's like all Hispanic stories. Let me tell you what happened. Hey, hey, hey. Let me tell you what happened. Mira. 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 <laughs> what happened was... So... so d- d- we talked about it, but we're trying a new thing, right? Yeah. So, so what do you think? Hey, what do you think? Does it, does it look good? It looks good. <laughs> you know that. Hey, maybe I, 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 I forgot until later when this doesn't work <laughs> out. It's gonna be good. Yeah. Uh-huh. Hey, suck it in a little bit. Yeah. Make yourself look better. <laughs> hey, how you doing? <laughs> so we were over there. <laughs> no. Hey, so you, there was something I wanted want to, to talk ask about you. Jim? Going back to uh, Abe from his interview. Right. You got. Any extra questions you want to ask him? All, it's not all. another interview. We're hanging. Just some additional. This is Abe. Beautiful man. Look at him. Um, yeah, look Bearding him. up. Needs a shave. Him. But uh, shit. So my question was, <laughs> did you ever miss out on any role that you tried out for? Uh, my brother and I both tried out for The Phantom Menace for Anakin. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, see, that, that's but my what... brother was. I was. I, they, I think they said I was a little too old. My brother Daniel. Was they, young they enough told, to come. Wait, 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 that was right. a nice way of saying you're <laughs> too brown. Dude, what are <laughs> Mexicans on this? Hey, what I don't planet, fucking bro. get is how he's not brown. He's not fucking tattooing. It's bright as shit. <laughs> Sun's out. He's got to have a little tan, bro. Yeah, come on. Yeah. He looks come a on. little khaki. Can you imagine a Mexican Darth Vader? <laughs> He'd be like, <laughs> order your whole <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So, not, all, not, all, not only was Darth, Darth Vader. <laughs> Not only was Darth Vader white, but he had a black dude's voice. Voice, right? Exactly. So, like, yeah, don't tell me yeah, about so, fucking. So he should have been brown ri- originally. Right. There you go. You see? Yeah, fucking that's what I think. Hate right? sand. I'm not yeah. bad. But that's how that shit worked out. Celebrate Hanukkah. Sand. Yeah, hates you know, desert. Get them all in there. Yeah, religious fucking guy uh, who's black, fucking yeah, white yeah, on the inside. His yeah. dick hole went Probably sideways. Probably Mexican as a kid. You didn't know. <laughs> Fucking pod racing and betting, it sounds Mexican so, to me. <laughs> so bo- both you and your brother, or no, your your uncle, right. tried out or auditioned for Anakin. No, 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 my brother and I. Remember, all my, all my family, all my brothers auditioned. Like, for we Anakin, got, we like got the everybody. For the main, no, just as Anakin as a kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On, yeah. On the well, that was a big role. And then, yeah. No, what I want to know is uh, what you... What your uh, audition lines were? Did they actually give you like script lines, or were they just going off of? Uh, yeah, sometimes they'd give you like like either just pages to either what they were gonna use, thinking of using. But I think the line was yep. something like, "I wanted to see the lightsaber." Yeah, <laughs> 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 you know, let me see the lightsaber, mama. Let me, let me like, see oh, the sorry. lightsaber. I wanted to be a Jedi. <laughs> Anakin. So, but but now you no, know who Anakin is, right? 
But it should have been Anakin. <laughs> Anakin. 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 Bro. Anakin. You know who Skywalker is, right? <laughs> Skywalker. Yeah, you go. And you went and tried right. out for Sky Luke Skywalker. Yeah, yeah. Be different Anakin. Phantom Menace. Not, not, not Luke. All, Luke. All kinds of movies, dude. Anakin um, Skywalker. Yeah. And, but it would have been Skywalkers. The other thing, too, I did a... Uh... <laughs> yeah. That's can, good. Can I know? <laughs> I did a uh, voiceover work for Independence Day. Did you really? Yeah. So on what? Like, what? Like, on what? Uh, just screaming in the background oh, and background just, noise. And just, that's cool, though. What, that's what, awesome. Do they put other people's screams with you? Yeah, so like post-production, so kind of post they try to get whatever oh, you know, they can on set. And then they'll come in and they had like eight of us in the room screaming. Just different, various people doing different things. Dude, did you ever slip in like some... Weird yeah. shit like actually I'm yes so, no at the, you know? at the end at the end you could hear you could faintly hear it i could swear it is maybe i was just too high but i could hear myself going you're the at bomb eight. mr president because he comes in at the end you were too high at killing eight. killing the the aliens you know when they come in and they're down in area 51 i could swear you could hear me say you're the bomb mr president but you see you put me. that in at, at Nine, ten? No, we had to be probably. F- yeah, I was a little older. Twelve, thirteen. Okay. What was it? Ninety-four, ninety-five? No, no, no. Google it. Yeah, Google that one. Kate. You're on, you're Where on the, are you at, Kate? You're on the Google. Oh, we don't have Kate here today. Yeah. When, it, when um, you you want to you want to know when Independence Day came? But out. I'm telling you, would you not if you're doing screams for a background of a movie? Would you not try to throw something in weird, dude? Okay, I would have done. <laughs> Go ahead. I was. Just, I would have done the Anchorman. He's coming. Yeah, you know, I would, have, I would have done my job, and ah, at the do end, you, I would just said something weird. Do like, you, do you remember a movie called Boiler Room with Giovanni Ribisi? Oh yeah, yeah. Diesel? when he comes out with the phone, yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. yelling, and then and, and, and Scott Conn, he's like, "Oh my God, I'm gonna come." <laughs> that's you one of those. That's, one of those that's, in what, I, that's yeah. what I would have done. And like the aliens. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, just, yeah, something, dude. Just something. so you hear it. But it blends in still like so. I'm not gonna. Look, I'm not gonna look this up because I don't care. Yeah, there you but go. The <laughs> point is. The Thank point you, is. Uh, they, were, were they trying to? Did they want you in there because you were a younger person sounding? They they went from all kinds of range from adults that's, to children. They just wanted what, the different. That's ranges what I'm saying. Things, like so, they wanted like an old lady, a fucking a younger young guy, guy, yeah, 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 see? Kid, yeah, yeah, yeah. They did everything. It's all post production. So stuff. You know this scene. Uh, could you pick out that scene? Well, because when we, of course, they're still finishing the movie, so they're, they 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 tell you like this is a new movie that's coming out. This is what we need you to do. Don't say anything. And I, don't say anything. Do you right? get paid yeah, for that? Oh yeah. yeah. Okay, you're not Dude. in the credits though. What's up? You're no, not no, credits. not in the credits. But, but wait, yeah, that, that kind of shit don't make credits. Right, right, right. All right. How much money did you get paid for screaming into a microphone? I don't know. Get the fuck out of here. He don't probably know. It's probably two hundred bucks or something. You know? No, probably more than that. I was gonna say it's it's all he had Dude, to I'll do. Screen for two hundred. Oh, bucks. listen, like, that's Google what I'm it. saying. <laughs> Google it. Hey, all he had to do. <laughs> look at we're at SAG Productions right now. Uh, we're in the we front building. Voice we're all trying to get our we're voiceover guys. Yeah, voiceover work. Here, Universal. And here's my like, uh, James Earl Jones. <laughs> there you go. Oh shit. <laughs> Let's do this. No, no I'm do doing shit. I don't have one. He's a Kimba. I, I, Kimba. I mean, Simba. Simba. Kimba. I know I like Kimba better now. <laughs> I don't have. I, I got Harry Carey. <laughs> hey, dude, my boy went out today. He got picked up by our former coach. Yeah. Said, "Hey, what's Vinny going doing tonight? He ain't doing shit." So. He ends up going down to see in Mexico in the world championship. Yeah, you know, the, the, where the, wor- the they world have all those. That's freaking awesome, dude. So would you not go? Oh fuck yeah! No, I'd go right now. And I don't like I said, like you you said, I don't like baseball. I love baseball, but yeah. I don't like watching baseball. Live yeah. is better than yeah, for sure. I, that's what I was going to ask you: is what stadiums have you been to? Uh, I I've been for to baseball. I've been to. Anaheim Stadium, LA, LA, Doyers, the Los Doyers, and I've been to um, the uh, the Seattle Mariners? Mariners. Yeah. Oh, dude, I got a killer. Where they Mariners. had the partial dome that like retracts. Dude, I got a killer shit. Mariners there story, but uh, I don't, I don't, because I hate everything Seattle, and everything Seattle can go fuck itself. I love Seattle. <laughs> <So, laughs> you, you've been to so fields. What m- what baseball fields you've been to? My roommate in college, well, just Dodgers, but my roommate in college, his name is Andrew Harim. 
And that's the grandson of Jaime Harin, the Spanish broadcaster for the Dodgers. Okay. So he would get us tickets all the time. And just be like, let's just go, dude. And we'd go hang out, drink freaking 38 ounce beers and get drunk and start fights. Uh, <laughs> we'd, we'd yell at Barry Bonds, bro. One time we were pissing Barry Bonds off. It was great. Your head's and, big. Uh, <laughs> but So no years only, um, Anaheim, I don't think for a baseball game, it was for something else. And then uh, the spring training out here in Phoenix. Oh, I love spring. We just went a couple weeks ago. Yeah. We were so close. Yeah, it's great. They it's really small. Look in the dugout. It was cool. Yep, yep, yep. Get Jeff beers, had this really cool idea. He's like, dude, I got this wallet, man. I'm going to give oh, it to no. you. It's so in my you truck. Go get signed and all. I'm like, it's a, made out of a baseball glove. Sick. I'm like, oh, that'd be awesome. But I'm not going to put Hey, where's that fucking oh, it's in my truck. dollar wallet? I'm not going to push yeah, him yeah. for it. But yeah. So you got it? Yeah. It's we just a- got like five autographs a couple weeks ago. And that would have been sick on there. But I'm like, eh. So, so. I My, thought you found out the value and said, ah, I'm going to keep it or something. No, 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 no. It's not worth, <laughs> you know? it's not worth that much. But no, it's 100 it's, bucks, though. So my, one of my family members had like a had a whole thing going on. Oh. Ah, broken you, phone. You put that shit on the side. I, <laughs> I thought he was trying to show off. <laughs> no. no, I don't care about that. Um, so he had uh, an embossing company. So that So Rawlings. Yeah, and the salesman would go out and sell. Like he would sell the like he'd give them these wallets, and they're made out of actual baseballs, f- baseball, baseball gloves. gloves. Oh shit! So they're that tan, like the nice yeah baseball so, glove. I found it at my mom's house. She'll fucking kill me for giving it away, but I don't give a fuck. Does she listen to this? She might. She might. She might not. I don't give a shit. <laughs> You're not, it's going to a good home. Sweetheart. So my idea was to give it to him and give it to Vinny. To have him sign it. it sign yeah, it. and then you can Throughout get... Throughout the years, we can have people sign well, you, it. You don't have to sign the glove because it's a wallet. So it has like... So you could do like your your uh, ticket stub and have him sign it. And throw it Everything in goes in that one dude. wallet, dude. Oh, that Throughout his whole life, you know? George Costanza the shit out of Fuck that. Fuck yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah. Like you just fill it up and like have like fucking sciatica from yeah, like for the <laughs> But only parties. Carry around on everyday life, but that for I mean, every ball I mean, game, that's a great how you, idea. How do you know he's not going to carry it around for, with him? Yeah. Well, he yeah he may. He might he, be a yeah. weird guy like that. How about this? <laughs> when he's forty, he's like, I got sciatica. Why? Because you <laughs> this baseball. It's not like baseball. I have this baseball glove that I really love my dad and my. I'm uh, like, dude, you have like a hundred thousand dollars worth of fucking signatures in that thing. What are you doing carrying it around? <laughs> I was just swimming. It was in the. I was in the pool. The, the stupid <laughs> shit though that you do when you're a kid. I remember being ah, 15, 16, and we were starting to smoke cigarettes at the time. What? Hanging Did out you, with this dude named you Jason. You never smoke cigarettes. Is Me? that for you? Yeah, yeah well, you never. should you should never don't smoke. <laughs> but uh, I, we started smoking. We had this dude. He's like, oh man, I could get a few bucks from my grandpa. He's breaking out like fucking silver dollars, and you're so stupid and young and dumb. You're like, a pack of smokes was like three or four bucks at the time. You throw out these. Those things are probably eighty bucks a piece now. You know, you're like, dude. Fuck the Throwing dumb silver dollars. Yeah. The dumb shit you do like that. I just you know? got a fifty cent piece the other day f- from Change. Oh, did you? That's, yeah, that's rare. It sounds weird. I have a two dollar silver <laughs> note. So- sounds like a maraca. <laughs> no, <laughs> like when you shake it in in your hand, full of sand, uh, chocolate. It sounds like weird. When you shake it. Yeah, when you shake a 50 it. Fifty like cent that. piece though. You don't get those often. Yeah, that's... I got one. It's but a good when, show. When you shake it like that, like thing. like Abe said. Try giving a fifty cent piece to. No, eighteen year old. No, they They'd don't like, know. This what is the not fuck. real money. Yeah, uh, no, bro. Stupid. I blew. I blew an eighteen year old's mind the other day in the fucking drive thru. He's like, yeah, it's five ninety one, and I gave him like six bucks and a penny. That's getting. And he didn't edited. fucking know how to. He didn't know how to yeah. do it. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. yeah. He couldn't do that. Just hand me a <coughs> hand me a dime, sucker. And they <laughs> hand you do, bro. They hand it back to you. Yeah. Like, oh, you already oh, gave me enough. That. It's already six. It's it. only six, bro. That's yeah. enough. I'm like, yeah, I don't need that. Yeah, that's funny because I did that too, and they gave me my change back. I don't even, I don't even I mean, try no, to do that's, that. That makes it so it's... You like just it, give me dollars. Yeah, yeah give me a dollar Or, or give me a dime or, or whatever. Yeah. Honestly, honestly, if you don't have the tap anymore, they're like, 
Oh my god! No, <laughs> I, mean, I love that one because that trips out old people behind me. I'll be, I'll do my Apple like, what, Pay. What did they just I'm do? Like, what did you do? It is yeah. like, mindless. I just, I just phone. That's we're, we're so okay. mindless yeah. work, but we need them. We need <sighs> we need mindless workers too. But I, start getting a little bit of mind. No, I'm I'm so hey, upset at, at the <laughs> at the fact <laughs> that there isn't the entry workforce anymore. Yeah, where you would start something low level. Yeah, work up. well, like, well, when you go to somewhere and, and 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 it's a kid, and you know it's a kid, so like drive through fucking, you know, you know, fucking. Uh, God damn it, I can't even think of the name. Yeah, fast food place. Fast place. food. Yeah, that's an entry level job, but we've gotten to the point where like it's. <laughs> I still think. Unfortunately, it's always somebody that's like in recovery or whatever. <laughs> I, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think he's not standing there all fucking yeah. no doubt. Yeah, like but, no, but, they're, but they're super positive. No, I I totally agree. I think you're exactly right. Is we're prisoners and we can all work, which they should, of course. You know, everyone should get. But there's no young kids that are no. There's no fucking so zip you, faced and braces. So, hey, you hey. Know, now it's like. A forty-five-year-old dude. That's what I'm with talking neck about. Tattoos. Hey, yeah. And then they get upset that they can't support a family of fucking five on a McDonald's <laughs> salary. You're like, yeah. what the fuck? No, no, no. no Ma- I, McDonald's like, pays them good, dude. They're yeah, getting like eighteen, nineteen. And that's yeah, not, but there's no entry. No, fifteen. The point. The point is. Now. The point I think is it's up to fifteen. There's no entry-level jobs right anymore though, for actually. like a teenage kid. Yeah. It's they're competing competing with adults. But I don't know that they want those jobs because. It's yeah. a lot easier to uh, fuck that, off and do that, nothing. That's, that's, what, your, that's what I was getting. Show at. your feet, or you, you didn't. You didn't or, let me. You didn't let me get get to my know, point. Or start a podcast. Yeah, you Fucking know, podcasters. Well, no, it's closers. all it's all dum dums like us starting podcasts. Honestly, well, we're, we, we do this for fun, <laughs> but we don't make any money. No, but there's no entry level jobs anymore. It's 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 You're basically. Right. It's from it's high school to DJ or fucking yeah, high yeah, school yeah. to like high school to Unless only you, fans. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, that's really what it is now. Dude, those, I mean, those, uh, those chicks are making. Yeah, but the, some of them are making bang, twenty thousand a month. No, but the, if but you the, get on TikTok the, or something, pay me twenty grand. I will fucking show my butthole tonight. <laughs> to like. So we just went from twelve bucks to how much? Twenty grand. Twenty grand a month sometimes. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ryan's butthole's a lot cheaper. Go okay. check out. Go check out Ryan Spider Man's butthole. Ryan, Ryan, Ryan and Spider-Man. Shout out to Ryan, man. <laughs> but but the, but there's there's people there's there's people kids coming out into the workforce that say. I'm going to be an influencer. Influencer. That's uh, the whole thing now. What the or, fuck? Or, who the or, fuck are you influence? Dude, you're watch. I'm looking at to. I, I don't know how they make money. Maybe just by me liking it. <laughs> yeah, that's it. You know? it's, it's all advertising. The more views, so, the so more you, ads, you see some funny, the more like, revenue so generated. Wait, but the, the more, the more, the more followers they have, yes, the more advertising they can. Do so, yes, you, just by, like just our by podcast. you liking it. So, oh, go. It. So, oh. you guys, right now, I just we were recording. So, you guys, right now, go <laughs> anywhere that you see here. Uh, space, this all this these is space, space, right? Download Hawaii? us, or that we are the human race. The Eiffel Tower. I, Eiffel Tower. <laughs> Eiffel Tower is going to come. Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. You should do the Eiffel Tower. Ta- 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 London <laughs> Bridge. London Bridge over there. <laughs> <laughs> Eiffel Tower, I did it with two chicks in fucking Korea. But Bro. hey, we'll be right back. Let's call listen to the human race. Jesus. Fuck, dude. That's. Pour some of my shit. I don't give a fuck. No. There you go. Salud, gentlemen. Hey. Salud. For the video. Arriba, abajo. Thank you. Centro, We're the human uh, race. Entro. Check out this guy. Abe, Verdusco. <laughs> Jeff. Shower Bell, beer. Derek, Torina. <laughs> we are the human race. We love you. Gotta go hear the AA meeting after that show. <laughs> hey, everybody, check out Two Drunk Bros. There's those guys check us out. They're hanging out with us the same way you guys are hanging out with us. Troy and Cody. Troy two, and Cody, man, they they are bros and two, they're drunk. They're two drunk bros. They do what we do over here, just a little bit over there. 
Today's show is sponsored by Prescott Trade Shop. They offer complete repair of watches, jewelry, and clocks. They buy and sell gold and other precious metals and even have beautiful vintage jewelry. They also offer laser engraving on almost anything. Located at 8690 East Highway 69, Prescott Valley, Arizona. Look for the big green building off Highway 69.